anywhere near it. Rogers wants that tag. And he finally gets it. The referee says no. Savage is up on the rope. In the meantime, Bob Root made the tag. Terry Gibbs and Gibbs is working on Rip Rogers. How come you don't say Teddy Gibbs speaking today? Gibbs and Roop have done an excellent job of keeping a fresh man in the ring all the time and really working on Hustler Rip Rogers. Working on the, the head and neck of Bob Roop is Hustler Rip Rogers. rippling out of this largest guy here. Look how strong he is. Rogers smiling for the cameras now in his typical arrogant way. Bob Roop gets a little leverage and gets up. Can't quite make it over his corner to get the tag on Terry Gibbs, though. You know, Mr. Announcer, you and the Red Mix for Mills out there can consider themselves very, very lucky to be able to see such lessons as Savage and Rogers and the Orton brothers. <laughs> very, very lucky indeed there, let me tell you. Hustler Rip continues to work on the head and neck of Bob Roop. Turns it over and tries to get a pin. Now he gets a two count. Roop pulls out. Bob Roop still not able to get over to his corner and make the tag to his partner, Terry Gibbs. Hustler gets out, and Andy Savage starts to work on Bob Root. Goes him against the turnbuckle, oh, over the top rope. Now he gets onto the top rope, and uh, this is highly illegal. Coming down and smashing Root right in the back of the head. Both wrestlers, three wrestlers, as a matter of fact, on the floor now. As you see, Bob Root laying in the floor. He is in pain, believe me. He's taking a terrible beating. Now Savage gets up on the top rope again, but the referee gets him back down. You see who's outside the ring there and who's standing in the middle. Savage out again. He's still continuing to work on Bob Roop. And they continue to batter the head of Bob Roop. Terry Gibbs comes around and runs Savage back into the ring now as uh, we'll get things, things going again. Terry Gibbs is trying to get Bob back into the ring. Bob uh, desperately trying to get back into the ring. But he is in some pain. Terry Gibbs wants to talk to the referee now to get the referee maybe to help Bob back into the ring. See what happens. Here he comes. Here he comes. You hear Rip Rogers talking to Izzy Slapowitz with me. And they continue to work brutally on Bob Roop. That's where Rip Rogers into the ring now. And Stomping the head of Bob Root. Well, it is. This is wrestling as it should be. Smashing the head and neck into the turnbuckle. Bob Root has endured a lot of punishment in this match. Hey, he reverses and throws Rogers into the turnbuckle. There's one thing I say there is Wolf character can take some punishment. He is taking a lot of punishment. But he hasn't given up yet. <laughs> the match is not over yet either. <laughs> Savage now going to work on Root for a while. Oh, Root uses the old warp your head off hold on Savage. And Rogers is holding Root. Oh, Savage comes over. Really working on this. Savage against the turnbuckle. Here he gives it. Here he comes. He's ready to go. He's been waiting over there for a long time to get his hands on these guys. And he is really working on Hustler Rip Rogers right now. Here goes a body slam. And now he goes over and knocks it's Savage illegal. down. Bob Roop is still on the mat outside the ring. He is really hurting, as you just saw. In the meantime, Terry Gibbs is working on Rip Rogers, but here comes Savage, and he's going to work on Roop some more. Evidently, he is not satisfied. He's working on Roop outside the ring. Roop goes to the floor again. And that floor is hard. 
Savage has really given Tom Brook a beating here in this match. That's Rip right. Rogers and Terry Gibbs are uh, going at it in the ring right now. Bob Brook is trying to get back up on the apron. He is really struggling. Terry Gibbs having a hard time now with Rip Rogers. Rip seems to have turned the tides. Savage comes around the... Uh, yeah, I this team is Rogers. But Rogers there and Savage. This is why I negotiate the, uh, to, to get in their corner. Okay, here's Savage. Savage goes up onto the top rope again. And let's see, we're about to run out of time in this. It's a 15-minute time limit. So we're going to see what happens. Randy Savage working on Terry Gibbs right now. As uh, we only have just about 45 seconds left in this match. Randy Savage pinning Terry Gibbs, but Gibbs flips out. A lot of endurance in these wrestlers. You better believe it. That's what makes them some of the best wrestlers in the country. Randy Savage and Terry Gibbs in. We only have 30 seconds left in this match. 30 seconds left. And uh, Savage again. Ropes both men go down. And both have really taken a beating. We only have about 15 seconds left in this match. Rip Rogers gets tagged. He comes in, works on Terry Gibbs for a minute. To Gibbs's midsection, and we are out of time. That's it. That's all the match. It's going to be a draw. Nobody wins, and we'll be back in a minute. Or give him room to come back in this match if he, if he possibly can. And there's Young Crosby, a lot of grit, rolling back into the contest from Pensacola, Florida. Well, we have wrestlers coming from all over, which is good. They represent every cross section of America. They represent every cross section of the world. And they're anxious, of course, to get your approval not only on the television matches that you see, but live at the arenas. So when you see the name Gunkel Sports is coming with All South Championship Wrestling, take the whole family. It's a family sport. You'll enjoy it. I was really tickled here the other day when Bobby told me wrestling number two will soon be seen in matches here on Gunkel Sports at All South. You know, wrestling number two, I've known him for years. Sunset flip, good work by Tommy Crosby. Almost got the fatal count of three. It would have been a major upset, but that's what wrestling's all about. That would have been a great accomplishment for him. Got the count of two, and Star knows this is no pushover here. This youngster's come roaring back. Wrestling number two, he's been through the ups and downs of this sport, and he'll be joining us soon. You'll be seeing him in action. Of course, I can't wait to have him on and to talk to him and to have his, his great knee lift and all the other great moves that he knows as part of this tremendous championship wrestling package. Here's Ron Starr again. This time he's angry. Now this time he's saying, I've got to make this man know that it's my match, but Tom Crosby, who's had the worst of it for most of the way, continues to bounce back. Starr assuring the referee he did not use the fist, but the open fist instead. This time it looked to me like he used the fist, and again he's being worn. To me like he had the fist closed. That's pretty sneaky. Ron Starr again. There's a front face lock on him. Taking him back to the corner, applying more pressure. And here's Tommy reversing it and spinning him right across the ring. And there's a great move by young Tom Crosby going for the pin again for the second time in the last few minutes. Got the count of two. Arm whip by Crosby. Back drop. Crosby says, hey, take this. I've been taking enough knees to my head in midsection. Give some himself. So if you're going to be one who takes it, you also want to be one who can give it out. Right to the midsection by Starr, and another. And again, he's got young Tom Crosby on the mat. A tough elbow smash coming off the ropes. And a stomp to the head by Starr. Well, Bobby, one thing for sure in this match, Crosby has not given up, but now he's taken a pounding from Ron Starr. How long can he last? Fred, I, it just depends on the shape he's in. He looks like he's in pretty bad shape right now as far as uh, his durability is concerned. He's taking a lot. Here's Ron Starr with a suplex. This normally finishes off the best of them. We'll just have to see what happens here. It's one of wrestling's toughest holes. You can see it. It's got young Crosby writhing in agony, going for the cover, but Ron Starr did not get it. This kid does have a lot of intestinal fortitude. An overhead right to the back of the neck. That makes you wince. And another. And Starr is putting it to him. He says, if you want to show me that you got a lot of 
a lot of stamina. I'm going to show you some tough holes. Now he's got him. He's got him up in a tough position here, going for it looks like the the backbreaker, Bobby. And here comes Ron Starr applying so much pressure. I don't know how much of this that young Tom can stand. He's got him back into the corner and just kind of tosses him off after applying all that punishment. Goes in with his knee across, trying to get the pin that way. It was almost out of, uh, as if to say, I can do it. I can pin him just by putting my knee across his throat. He's knocked out, but the referee called that off. Starr smashing him into the ropes, into the corner. This is Ron Starr at his best now. Applying the reverse chin lock. And a grinning, listening to what the referee says, meanwhile applying more and more pressure to young Tom Crosby. Both from southern towns, Crosby from Pensacola and Starr from New Orleans. And Starr has it back on his feet. An elbow smash, still some fight left in that Tom Crosby. And a right. And he tries the overhead elbow smash himself as Starr back into the corner. Whips him into the opposite corner. And from the turnbuckle, tries to snap bear, gets it, and he has him down on the canvas. Star works his way out and again begins to throw punches. He throws punches as well as all the wrestling moves he knows. And he's shown quite a few here today in this match. Crosby still battling. Tough youngster. Reversal by Star. Oh, that's tough, right off the ropes. That floored him hard. Star slowly picking up his opponent. This is for you, boys. This is for you. What did he say, Bob? This is for who? This is for you, boys. I don't know who the boys was. Russian leg sweep, and there's a three count, Fred. Yes, Bobby, he's won it. A tough going there, and he's not only going to beat the man physically, he's going to psychologically beat him. He's going to wear him down. He's going to wear him out, and then he's going to tap dance on him like a Mexican hat dance. A lot of experience with Tommy Rich, and Tommy's being cautious, taking his time, coming back into the ring. There, Mr. Danny exactly is on the side of the ring. About. Stay on him, Tommy. The bullet takes a forward into the turnbuckle. Tommy Rich with a fist to the forehead. Looks like it could have hurt Tommy Rich's hand just a little. The bullet is a little dazed. It's early in the match, and the bullet is a little dazed. Allie, nobody believed me, but I told you right off the bat that Tommy would be coming on strong before very long. You know, Tommy, sometimes he gets a little slow starting, but once he gets to rolling, he's mighty hard to stop. He didn't get to be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion by being lazy in there. Tommy's one heck of a man, and I'm not going to take anything from the bullet Bob Armstrong either. Well, I don't know if the bullet is Bob Armstrong. Oh, sure you do, Allie. Everybody in professional wrestling, the man's been trying to hide his identity for years, but we're all smarter than that. The bullet does, his little, bullet does his little dance. Tommy's backed up against the... Whoa, low kick. I don't know about that one, Ron. And on the ropes, too, Allen. That's exactly what I'm talking about. All of these fan favorites can do these things and get away with it without even the slightest warning from the referee or from the president of the Southern Championship Wrestling or anyone else. And I tell you, it's about time that some of us, like Tommy, myself, Joel Deaton, uh, some of these other gentlemen back there in the dressing room, get together and put a petition in. Mid ring and collision, done. and both wrestlers are down. They both look dazed. Tommy is climbing toward his ring, his corner of the ring. The bullet's coming up on all fours now. Tommy looks as if he's really dazed. Looks like the he's bullet been winded he's really bad too. there. But they mix it up again. Tommy gets the bullet. I just, That's my man. The A big knockout pop.